now that we've the you know, relative flat two surfaces, of course we have to joint an edge. So there's different ways of doing this. Now you could uh, you could use this system, or I can show you a system I've developed to do this. So I'll remove these uh, these bench accessories. I'll remove the bench accessories, and I'll show you what I've done. This is a uh, this is portable, and what this does is attaches to the bench and serves to uh, to hold the uh, your work up. So I would uh, clamp it into the face slice and use this. So it removes, and uh, now I have two similar workbenches, and it's it's uh, portable between the workbenches in my case. So I can just leave it on one bench, and I removed it to bring it over here. Just in solid. You can either uh, use just a single screw, which works fine. It's fairly because it locks in with the uh, with the dowels. Now I do offer plans for this on my uh, website. Got a key or something. I'll lock it in with a hex key. So it's really designed to be removable fairly quickly. And what it does is a there, it's locked in. What it does, I'll show you now. So if I'm jointing this board, that grain, I've already determined the orientation of the grain, the direction of the grain. So I'm, I'm marking from, this is a little bit too long to just hold in the, uh, in the face twice. So what I do is I, uh, because the, uh, it has numerous holes, I can insert and remove uh, dogs in the hole so I'll just uh, I'll just set it to that dog and that's what it does you see so I'll just if I can hand point this now should I use a wood body one or a metal body so you want to use also a long sole plane when you're doing this let's try this guy Ideally, the uh, the width of the blade is uh, is at least the width of the blade. No, I need to back up. The shades are a bit too thick there. So this is how you do it, by the way, using a plane hammer. So that uh, retracts the blade. That's better. So well, that's the idea. So this would, uh, I periodically test for square here using one of the uh, reference surfaces. Along the, uh, along the surface. So this, uh, this process creates uh, two parallel dress surfaces along with a an edge so you can begin to uh, rip this down to uh, to size for your furniture components. I mean, it's not the best optimal piece of wood. I wouldn't even use it. I wouldn't only use this portion because of that large knot and possibly use the, uh, the shorter pieces. By the way, this makes a huge mess. I do discuss the, uh, the board track I just introduced. The uh, portable board jack, it's actually covered in this book, along with uh, individual plans of my wood still site. And what I'll do is I'll remove this uh, board jack, because it's actually, I normally have it uh, permanently attached to my other workbench, so I can, I can do it there. I can do all the uh, edge joining there. The workbenches are, uh, I, I could be mistaken, but I don't seem to find it in the catalog. So that's that. Now, so again, this is the portable board jack with some offsets, some bosses, so they fit into the, uh, the 
the dog holes on your bench. And the whole arrangement is arbitrary. You can do whatever you want. I mean, in this case, I'm using standard three quarter inch uh, dogs, metal brass dogs in this case. So. I tend to use uh, wooden dogs for the most part. Like this, this one here, a little catch. Yes, these are dogs that I've created with a leather face. I tend to use these because I prefer uh, wood on wood when I'm uh, when I'm hand planing and not having the blade going to some metal. So, if you have any questions, just email me or my wood skills site. My I have an Instagram, wood skills mag. I have a YouTube channel that periodically post. Uh, shorts or full uh, videos and my uh, i really really update my instagram channel with posts and reels almost every the second day or every day my youtube channel my youtube channel i mentioned my wood skills site my blog and so that's it